Awaken, my child, into the glory that is your birthright. If you know what that was from, then good job. Good job. I'm gonna get stuck in this voice, I swear to God. Fuck. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. Dude, my mouth tastes weirder this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it with whatever's in the cooler. <laughs> Last night inspired me. For for longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Hi. Okay. Let us go explore. <laughs> Shit. What should we do first? I'm assuming we're gonna be able to do all three. Because it seems to be like a series of, like, intro, one, two, three, ending, you know? Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You're, you're taking headache meds. They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours you get all you or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Off. What did you do last night? I was in the library with Bea. That sounds nice. It was. Weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. Uh, you know. Bye, sweetie. I must go on my quest to find ghost. <laughs> quest to find ghost. I will find ghost. And I will slap ghost. For ghost is deserving of ghost slap. Holy shit. I could I can walk on the mailboxes. I'm a fucking rebel. Alright. So You know what? We're gonna go to the library? No not library. We're gonna go to the historical building with Greg. Then we're gonna go to the graveyard. Actually no. First, we're going to the pit. No. First we're going to the historical society, then the pit, then the graveyard. <gasps> oh my god, she has a kid finally! Oh, it's beautiful! Okay. <laughs> At last. Nope, still nothing about, like, a missing boy. That's a coon rat! I fuck up yards with my feet. Yards. Video out post. Yeah. So, I said I could like take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Yeah. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah. We never get to hang out. Yeah, I guess, huh? I've never been hanging. I've been hanging out with Greg so much. It'd be nice to actually get to know you a little better. I'm pretty great. Goes hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy. A ghost. Right. I just don't believe me that it was a ghost. Well, I mean... Ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. 
and me saying, hey, I verified that you are, and me saying, hey, I verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or Frankenstein. Or maybe they're made of ghosty stuff, if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff could be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw a ghost, and this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. The Pyark! Okay, I know I said I was gonna go with Greg first, but I'm going out with Angus first. Because, fucking hell. Why not? Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take me up here for up here to play frisbee. I get hit in- I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once. Full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. You stepped after the frisbee. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kinds of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Come, Angus! We have sights to explore. Angus. Fuck your slow. God damn it, Angus! What the fuck? What is this? <gasps> you alright? Yeah, I got asthma as well. Sorry, you gotta wait for me. Did you, do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like... a lime kiln, I think. Limes? Limestone. You do... you, you like, do something with it in there, and it becomes the uh, this other thing. Oh! Limestone's weird because... It's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa! I know, right? Like, right where we're standing, there was, like, ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy. And awesome! That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. That's history. <laughs> I love you. I love your voice that I've given you, Ang A Angus. Hey, it's another uh, sea monster kill. <sighs> Need to take a break? I'm okay. I'm okay. No problem. <sighs> so this place was underwater? Why aren't there, like, ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert in any of this. I am! But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. I think that all cra that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened. Find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. <laughs> Angus is like me. Holy shit. In terms of, like, the WALKING! Are you sure you're okay? Yeah... Sorry... Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creatures or rock- ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. 
Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You know, you knew they had feathers, or some of them. I know, right? Big freaky chickens. These were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creators would eat us, no problem. Creators, creators. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Yay! I like dinosaurs, I'm glad we're discussing dinosaurs. And it's night! Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Oh. Whoa. Graves, huh? Yeah. These were... I forget. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. Like the labor strike thing. Or it was like the Miters versus National Guard. Happened back in town like a hundred years ago. Where are they up here? I think this is where some of the bad guys and some of the miners didn't want them buried in town. Oh. Huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's one here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones! Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Okay, that's him walking. I was like, what's that noise? Whoa. Wow. We're up really high. And really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what? Are we supposed to just... So, uh, <laughs> so what? Are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me. You're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah. Back at, st <laughs> Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. They always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish you knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names of the stories and stuff. I wish. I could never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No. No, no, no. Remember that time we were... We were all that lo We were all at that longest night bonfire, and we spotted the constellations together? And you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh wow. Maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamt up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations. You tell me about them. Okay then. Oh bye! Alright, find me some constellations. Wait. Are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember, or dreamed that one time. Uh. Whichever. Okay, let's see. Uh. Oh! I get to make constellations? Oh, I know I don't.
It's a Pope! He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello! There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family... Did your, did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I didn't think those, fir those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't really gone since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. That's not a fucking constellation, you dumbass. It's a whale! And it's got, like, the world on its back. Oh, wow. That's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. That, that is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these scientists specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something. They didn't know what the Earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start? Alright. Is this the Illuminatus? Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Okay, that's uh... I know that one a little from, like, prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. That makes sense. It's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound. Usually. And it, sound real it sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not gonna get run to death by a bell. That's true. That's true, my berry friend. These are not constellations. Is this the Big Dipper? No. It's a cat! He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh. I know this one, don't remember his name. He lived, uh... Remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah! My granddad used to tell me... Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like shiny thing, like shiny things was gonna be getting through the forest. He was really good at stealing. Oh well, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh. Decent. Extremely decent. We're, like, way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the stars are so pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah. Don't believe in ghosts, or gods, or psychic powers, or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. The people have really- and people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know much how I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either. And like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. 
No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot, but my mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> She'd, like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers. So I could like signal the neighbors. Or unlatch the door. Didn't work. As you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I like started feeling guilt, feeling guilty too, for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused. Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. <laughs> oh, Angus! Son of a bitch, I'm actually starting to tear up a little bit. Fuck off, Vandendoink. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience, I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I... Still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army. My dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. He's alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like. Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. I joined a skeptic society on the internet, and that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit, and gave me something to solve, something you could debunk or not. I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah. No ghosts or god. So, like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so I like the constellations. I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I uh, believe that stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're going, we're good at drawing lines between the spaces stars, like we're pattern finders, and we'll find patterns, and we like really put our hearts and minds into it, and even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like, God found them. Like, when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later... Oh, fuck! Ah. I am not... I am not... I'm not crying. Fuck you, I'm not crying. whenever I cry, it gets disgusting. Like, in the Drawn to Life Let's Play. Jesus Christ, that was terrible. And I look back and I was like, God fucking damn it. Oh, 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 I am still a wuss. Oh my god.
better. I'm getting better at not crying at fictional shit. I'm getting better. Stars could stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no but I'm no more than anyone else. Oh. Yep. Okay, hold on. I need to make sh I, I I need a minute. I fucking I just I just need a minute. Okay, just so we're clear, I was totally fucking crying. Like, a little bit. Like, my eyes watered the fuck up. But no one gives a shit. Oh my god, okay. I'm, I'm better now. Better now. I've had my moment. I've had my moment to calm the fuck down. Okay. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh no. There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall. Weird. Some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about being a, it being a living person. Standing in the woods, staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there! Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're going to run now. We need to get the, to the car. But your asthma! I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. Alright. Okay, big guy. Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or it was some weirdo who lives out there. You'd probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up. Uh. That wasn't too far from there. Uh. Why does nobody believe me? May, hey, it's like every other explanation is more likely than ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry. Grouchy. Headache. That was scary. It's cool. It was. Holy shit! Thought Angus is psychic, but is. Okay, that was legitimately terrifying. He was just like, I didn't even see him! I wasn't paying attention until he pointed it out and I was like, Wait, what? Oh! Fuck! He's right there! Hi! Uh, uh, oh god. I am not an observant person. Well, I mean, I am, but fuck! Oh! Holy shit! 
Hey, Dad. Hey, you. I mean, <laughs> hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. She's out of shape? I don't think she's out of shape. She looks fine. Am I missing something here? Alright. I should have done that last, man. Because that was a ga ga ga. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Did he not tell you about it? Yeah, he did! You guys saw a weird creepo, huh? Yeah, it was the effing ghost again! Hold on! Angus thinks it was a hunter! Buck season starts in like two days! Oh, what the hell. Put him on. Okay, hey, 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 hey! Hey, May. This is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes! I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird. But there are folks that live up there in the park. And there are hunting camps and stuff. So it was most likely a guy out hunting Buck early. Dude! I like felt it! I know. I don't know what you I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Anytime. I had fun. You can put Greg back on. Dude, I'm an artist. Were you doing art just now? Sure was. All right, off to bed. Night, dude. Hey, May. Wait, no. Hey, May. This is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. Oh, hey, I'm. Oh, hey, I'm Angus. So I, I'm so smart and have a great ass. Blah blah blah. You are. You two are talking a lot. Hold on, I'm drawing him a dirty message in this in the paint program. It's a dick with his hat on it. <laughs> it's a dick with his hat on it and it had a smiley face. I don't know what it even means. Looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out, yo. Hey, man. <laughs> Hey, May, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can attest that this picture is kind of baffling. Good night. <laughs> hey, Bear. You awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating your grilled cheese. What's up? We went to the park with Angus. Uh, went to the park. How'd it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did! Well, okay, hold on, I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is an... Angus is an annoyingly stri strident atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah! Okay, whatever. Sorry. What it's worth, I do I don't not believe you. Thanks. <laughs> you have a good time otherwise. Yeah, learned a lot about Angus. He's had a kind of rough life. Oh yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how do you know about this? Uh, because Angus and I have been friends since like, 8th grade. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not like, you're not like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg don't hang out. Him. Hmm. <laughs> Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm going to sleep. TT. Talk to you later. <laughs> Hi. Okay.
Well, that was sad and terrifying and awesome and very much enjoyable. This water tastes like pool water. Ah, I need to take out my trash. Okay. Go to bed. Bedtime. Yes. Now what? Now what are we gonna dream about? Are we gonna dream about the man? The mine man? Man mine man! Man mine man. Man mine man. Mine man mine. Man. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's a cat. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing I've heard. I've heard, first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God, and I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining fate, faith, and moments ago is the beginning, and I am here then, and here now, and there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Why have I been seeing ghosts? There was, like, bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. A tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air, and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind, and terrible. And I am showing you now. Whoa! Ah! Oh god, oh god! They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming. 
and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the whole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. WHAT?! WHAT?! WAS THAT ACTUALLY LIKE CTHULHU?! THOSE WERE LIKE TICKS! THOSE WERE TICKS! GIANT GOD TICKS! WHAT THE FUCK?! WHAT?! SO NOTHING MEANS NOTHING! THIS IS POINTLESS! WHAT?! 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 BOOM! DEAD! Flat. Oh my god. I don't know! The universe is forget- Was that Edgar Allan Poe? As God? <laughs> I mean, it was a cat. Alright, was it Nigger Man? Uh, H.P. Lovecraft's cat? Look it up, that's actually what its name was. Its name was Nigger Man. And yeah, it was a different time. Okay. So... Jesus Christ does not exist. All right. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>